Hi, I'm Ray and what I have right here is the Sony Xperia Z1 and we have it for a round of benchmark tests. The device is very powerful, it's equipped with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, so we expect it to achieve some great benchmark results. Let's give it a try. So I've already run my benchmarks here on the Xperia Z1 and here's a quick spoiler, this device is a beast. On Quadrant Standard we got a score of 20,277, which is an astonishing result considering that the LG G2, which is also powered by the same Snapdragon 800 processor, scores about 16,000 points. And the GS4 with its Snapdragon 600 CPU scores about 12,000. So great result here by the Xperia Z1. And moving on to and to the benchmark, we have a score of 30,838 points. Once again, a great result compared to the G2's 22,000 and the GS4's 24,000. So the Xperia Z1 easily trumps them both. Moving on to the graphics benchmarks with GFX Bench 2.7, We've run the Egypt HD test and we've gotten an average FPS of 53 frames per second. This once again takes the lead compared to the G2's 47 FPS and the GS4's 39 FPS. On Velamo benchmark and the HTML5 component, we've gotten a score of 2889. Once again, a great result. Uh, for comparison, the, Gal the LG G2 got a score of 26.23 and the GS4 had a score of 17.02. So once again we have the Xperia Z1 here proving that it's really a powerhouse when it comes to performance and synthetic benchmarks. And finally we have the metal part of the Velamo test which tests the um, the performance of the internals and we have a score of 1115 points compared to uh, the G2's 946 and the GS4's 704. So that's pretty much it right now. Uh, we think you got the point that uh, Sony Xperia Z1 will easily trump the competition when it comes to synthetic benchmarks. Of course what matters most will be uh, real-world performance and uh, we are yet to see if the Xperia Z1 will live up um, to the high expectations set by its amazing benchmark results.